Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. I'm going to move my phone out. i got two little ones back here trying to get into the video. Mm. <laughs> my name is Brandon Hathaway, and I'm the preacher at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. This here is Lyndon John Hathaway. Lyndon John Hathaway, and this over here is Eleanor, Eleanor Hathaway. And we want to thank you for joining us as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Can you tell them what book that is? What is Jeremiah. Jeremiah. We're in chapter 28. 28. We're going to look at verses 7 through 9. Jeremiah 28, looking at verses 7 through 9. Do you want to try to read it all? Mm -hmm. No? All right. So here it reads. It says, Yet hear now this word that I speak in your hearing and in the hearing of all the people. The prophets who proceed you and me from ancient times prophesied war, famine, and pestilence against many countries and great kingdoms. As for the prophet who prophesies peace, when the word of the pro that prophet comes to pass, then it will be known that the Lord has truly <coughs> sent the prophet. And so as you're reading these verses, it's making the point that one way, the main way in which to know if someone is a true prophet, is if the words that the person is prophesying come true. Now again, that's kind of a, a waiting game to figure it out or not sometimes. But you had a lot of false prophets at this time, a lot of false prophets coming proclaiming peace when there was no peace. Or here as he brought out, they were proclaiming uh, pestilence and that other nations would be destroyed um, and that didn't take place. And so as you read further into this chapter, the very next verse, it gets into, I believe, uh, what was the name? Hananiah, the prophet, and speaks how he tried to uh, break the, oh, it wasn't bonds, uh, bars, uh, bars of Jeremiah, and ends up doing that, and God, the Lord says, well, you broke the wooden ones, if you made them now an iron and so at the end of the chapter, it says Hananiah is going to die because he prophesied a lie. He did not prophesy the truth, but was giving false hope. He was lying to the people. And so we got to make sure that when we listen to teachings of the Lord, that we are making sure the truth is being taught. <coughs> Again. Not that any of us are prophets in the point that they are prophets in the Word of God, that we can come up with a new prophecy. But as we teach the truth, we teach what they have already prophesied, and we're re-teaching it to others. That is the Word of God. But make sure that others are not adding to it, or taking away from it, or taking it out of context and applying it incorrectly. So... We need to make sure that we do what is right because we see the consequences here that it was death. So we want to thank you for joining us today. We hope everybody has a blessed day. The Lord is willing. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.